Ukrainian counterattacks compound Russia's military problem. Russian warships bombarded targets near Odessa Wednesday morning, possibly as a part of a buildup to an attack on the Ukrainian port city. But some military strategists say Russian forces are struggling to hold territory they have seized and have suffered some serious reversals in fierce skirmishes elsewhere that will likely delay an assault on Odessa. Britain's defense ministry in its daily update on the state of battle assessed that Russian forces are struggling to overcome challenges posed by Ukraine's terrain and that Russian units have remained largely tied to Ukraine's roads, demonstrating reluctance to go off-road to maneuver. It said Ukrainian forces have also managed to stall Russian advances by blowing up bridges. The tactics of the Ukrainian armed forces have adeptly exploited Russia's lack of maneuver, frustrating the Russian advance and inflicting heavy losses on the invading forces, the British Defense Ministry concluded. Ukrainian and Western military officials say they still think Russia is planning an assault on Odessa, and Russian warships have been gathering off the coast nearby, they say. One option for the Russians would be to bypass Mykolaiv and conduct an amphibious landing. Oleksiy Danilov Secretary of the National Security and Defense Council of Ukraine, said last week that a seaborne assault on Odessa had been planned but was abandoned because of poor weather conditions. Odessa has been preparing for a Russian attack, fortifying streets for close fighting and mining beaches. Oleksiy Arestovich, another aide to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, said small-scale Ukrainian counterattacks meant Russian forces have not managed to clear the main hotspots around Kyiv and there is little chance they will as Russia has used up its resources. Ukrainian authorities said Russian forces continued intense bombardment of Kharkiv, Ukraine's second-largest city, and surrounding towns. A high-rise apartment block was hit in the latest shelling attack on the Ukrainian capital, Kyiv, Wednesday, smashing the top floor and igniting a blaze. Ukraine's military claims 13,800 Russian soldiers have been killed or captured since the start of the Russian invasion on February 24. They also say they have destroyed or taken out of action 430 tanks and 1,375 armored vehicles. The Ukrainian claims have not been independently verified. Military analysts suggest the high death tally of senior officers is because they have had to move closer to the front lines to sort out logistical supply problems and to coax ground troops forward. Moscow has only acknowledged that 498 of its soldiers have been killed and 1,597 wounded, and that was on March 2 with no updates since. Western defense officials have lower estimates than Ukraine's for the Russian death toll, with a consensus of a likely 6,000 Russian dead, 
around the number of U.S. service personnel killed in Afghanistan and Iraq during two decades of fighting. Russian military spokesmen have a different view of the state of battle, saying its forces shot down in the past 24 hours two Ukrainian Su-25 warplanes and one MiG-29 fighter jet as well as four drones. Russian Defense Ministry spokesman Igor Konashenkov also said Wednesday that Russian forces destroyed 128 Ukrainian military facilities the past day. Independent military observers and strategists concur with the assessment of Britain's defense ministry, saying that the outgunned and outmanned Ukrainian defense forces have managed to frustrate Russia's invasion force, especially in northern and eastern Ukraine. Putin has checkmated himself. His armor mechanized forces cannot enter Kiev, sick, without suffering huge casualties, and neither can they stay outside without being attacked by drones and an anti-tank missiles, tweeted Edward Lutwak, a renowned American military strategist. Смотри, на одно. 